Hey, welcome to uh, Sherry's uh, matching uh, images to vectors, matching image size to vector size. That's so funny. I was just thinking about this last night. Is you know, I it, it, this is the deal. Here, here I, I've sent this to layout. This is uh, this is my front elevation, okay? And then I did a duo tone image. It's called an image. This is a vector view, right over here. That's a vector. This is an image, uh, and uh, you know, I. I I've already done it on a couple of these things, and I've resized this thing by heck and by golly, just kind of guessing. But how do you do it so it's really quick and easy? That's what Sherry asked. So here, this is what I say: you 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 resize this image by pulling this by pulling the ends in, and pulling this side in over here. You see what I'm doing? I'm just doing the, the very ends. I mean the the sides, the sides, the sides. And I'm going to resize this down to the bottom right hand corner of my slab. I already know where that is. It's right there. And I'm going to pull this over here like this, the top. So I've just, I picked two solid points, the bottom right-hand corner of my slab and the top left-hand corner of my fascia board, 09 point to point. Oh, did I do that? Yeah, that's good enough. 09 point to point. So I'm going to put this right where it should be right here, okay? Wait, uh, do I like that? I like it right there. Yeah. So now that is that is right where it's at where it should be, okay? But you see how much bigger this is? I have to resize it, right? So now you, you grab it in the corners, not the tops and sides, but the corners. And resize, pull it back down to here, and uh, pull it back up to, yeah, I don't know if I could do a better job than this. I think I could do a better job than this, but maybe not. Maybe it's, maybe it's the best I could do, I don't know. But there it is, that's, that's pretty good. I, I just resized it. It's, it's, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I have, I have I finished? No. Now you grab the top middle and pull it up like this. See, I got the fill over there. And if you want, you can pull the uh, uh, tab. Which one is it? Uh, this. This is this is my uh, this is my image right here. Pull my image over a little bit. Uh, pull my image over a little bit over here because you see the face on the right hand side. Look at the face on the right hand side. The face on the right hand side is not colored. Now it's going to be colored. See. And then uh, you grab this bottom. Where's the bottom node? Where's the bottom node? Right here. And now I pull this bottom node down. I don't know why. I, I just do. You, you play with it. But the idea is to resize. Now that, that image is resized the perfect size of the uh, 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 vector view. Now, uh, you know, some people have said, well, you, you, send the Im you send the vector view to layout, and then you send the image to layout. Without changing the size, don't move it around, and they'll be in the same they'll be in the same size and whatever. But heck, my my elevation's already in layout, man. My elevation's already in layout, so I, I, it doesn't work for me. But this is what I just did. But now here's something kind of cool. Now here's something kind of cool. Watch this. Um, what is this? This is my yeah. Okay, now okay. Just so you know, watch 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 what I've done here. Uh, watch what I've done here. I have this image on a layer called layout images. Layout images. Okay. So, you know, some people don't like the color. I kind of like the color. I, mean, I didn't do a real good job on the color. I could tweak that a little bit. But watch this. Now, if I go to uh, 24 layout images, that's the layer it's on. I turn this off. Look at this. It's gone. So it, it depends upon what you want. You know, you can you can leave that image in your plan, in your layout. Leave that image in your layout in case someone wants some, some pizzazz. I kind of like some pizzazz. I'm not saying I did a great job with the pizzazz, but I did some pizzazz. So I, I could add it back in, and I could print it. Uh, let's just go ahead and print it. Come up to Control P. And I'm going to print it in. Uh, I'm going to print it. Uh, you know what I'm going to print? I'm going to say. Uh, 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 I'm going to print. Uh, I'm not going to print in color. But it's going to be grayscale. If I don't print a color, it's going to be grayscale. We all know that setup. If you don't figure it out, uh, this is a uh, uh, Sherry uh, Junk Print One. Put it on the desktop so I can throw it away later. And now watch what, what watch what happens. Now you tell. Me, oh, here it is over here on this side. Oh, hang on, hang on. There it is. I mean, which one do you like better? I don't know. I, I kind of like I kind of like the, the shaded one. I mean, it it, it it pops more, doesn't it? It pops more. I know some people say, "Well, you worry about your color and all that other kind of crap." Well, I'm sorry, I don't care. 
I, I like it better. So anyway, that, that's how it prints. But but now here's something that you you say. Uh, this is something that I, I've known this, but I'm just going to reinforce this idea. Control C, Control V. Here I, I just put, I just copied another one, right? U U, and I'm going to put this on uh, 24 by 36 CAD layout vectors. Just so you know, when you send something to layout, watch this one. This is this was sent to layout. Same same thing. You, you and uh, find out, put it on the default layer. When you send something to layout, it goes to layout box borders, okay? Well, okay, so where is it? What layer is this on? This layer is on 24 by 36 lab count vectors. I'm going to turn that off, that layer off. Do you think it's already off? <laughs> it's already off. My point is you can't, you can't get rid of that thing. You can't get rid of a vector or layout box sent to layout. You just can't do it. You can't turn it on and off like I did the image. You get what I'm saying? I mean, if I come over here, watch, watch this nine. This is on layout box borders, and that's turned off. Well, the box border. You know what I'm saying? You send something to layout in plan view or vector elevation view. You you can't kind of hide that by putting on a layer that you can turn off. You can't put on a layer that you can turn on and off. But with the images. But with the images, you can. And that's what's kind of cool about this whole thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn both those. Well, you know what labels are, man. Labels are the labels, okay? I just turn the labels off. You know what the labels are, but I, I never want to turn my labels off because I want my layout, layout box labels. But I, don't want to, I want to hide this for whatever reason. Well, I can't do it. But I can take my image, 9, and I can turn that off because I put that on a separate layer. And it's off. There you go. That's cool. Hey, Sherry, thanks for asking this question. I was It's so funny. I was thinking about how to resize this just last night, these, resizing these images. I thought about this, and it made sense to me. Uh, you know, I, you, could, you could do it mathematically. I do most of my resizing mathematically. But I know what you're saying. I think some people have talked about resizing this thing by just, I don't, I, maybe by, by, the, by the method I just used. I don't know. Anyway, that's one way of doing it if it works for you. And that is the end. And end, end, end. Get to work now.